Hello everybody and welcome to the next map. It is now here and it is called Court Farm. There is a bit of a backstory to it so we'll go through that first of all. Welcome to Court Farms Limited, once over 500 acres of prime British soil. The bank has granted you a loan to help settle some initial fees but look lively as you'll soon need to start bringing in a profit. Unfortunately, the farms have taken a slight beating over previous years. The economy has been rough and profits are down. Your predecessor found himself in financial difficulties and saw it fitting time to sell up court farms and grab every last penny the farm is worth. However, the business was not sold as a whole. It was sold off in lots. You purchased the farm, but only five fields scattered over the map, plus five grouse fields. You can buy the rest of the land at a later date, returning the farm to its glory once more. At the time of the sale, the animals were all sold off and the machinery returned to Gillet and Johnston. Despite this, you do own some small old machines, but these are costly to maintain, so it's perhaps worth upgrading as soon as cash flow allows. We probably will be. Luckily, you were left with some crops still in storage and in the ground. Sell and harvest these, and it should help keep the bank off your back for now. There are additional grass field meadows dotted around the map. Your mission is to give Court Farms a new lease of life and turn it from its dilapidating ruins back into a thriving part of British agriculture. Fill those sheds, rebuild the herd, and burn that diesel. I like the sound of that. So yes, here it is. Again, as usual, I have not looked at this map at all. This is the first time I've been in the map. I've not done any walk around on it. I'm not seeing what anything is. Uh, so totally new to me as well. But this is obviously Court Farms, as the map very nicely says, the name of each farm. Um, and apparently this is quite a tough map as well to play on, so it's, it should be nice and challenging. Uh, all looking good so far, and I like the potato boxes which say Court Farm Limited on. As they do in real life, they always stamp the name of the farm on it. Uh, but this is the machinery which we start off with. Never really use this tractor. So that's a bit of a change. The usual pottinger drill. We've got a stall front loader there, and a bale trailer with lots of different attachments on. It looks like that is probably the straw cell point the bale cell point and also a nice storage shed there as well uh, so let's have a look and see which fields we actually own we own field number four which is just north of the farm field number eight which is just the other side of the road i think there's a road here looking at the map and it looks like we probably do own all the grassland as well so this must be ours i think instead of walking around there we will get into a tractor Unless we have a 4x4, I don't know if we do. And we'll start touring the map. So this is our grain source. I like the danger signs there. Nice touch to it. Uh, so this is for the barley and the corn, first of all. So that must be the corn, I think, or the barley. And oh, that's the corn, and the barley's over here. So that is the first grain store. And the second one, over here, you would expect to be, yep, oilseed rape and wheat. So again, oh, I got stuck on the door. There's the wheat and the oilseed rape. I guess goes here somewhere. We'll soon find that out when we do a harvest. So we shut the door, keep the rain out, and we'll move on. Oh, what's this? Got an excavator here. Kind of looks like the one off Demolition Company. I don't know if it is. And the usual bulldozer, which seems to appear in nearly all the new maps. And it never runs. Right then, so let's jump into a tractor. We've got everything we need as well. Weighing scales, conveyor belts. I like this for the potatoes. It's for loading up the crates. All very nice. So here we are in the Sammy tractor. We'll just reverse, try and find the exit to this place. Uh, I think it's probably in front of us. Nice touch there as well, Court Farm. I wonder if we have a horse to go with that. Oh yeah, here we are, we're back here again. So let's exit over here. We'll go through our grassy track. I 
This is going to be another one of those tour videos where we just have a look around the map. We don't actually do any farming. I think it's a good way to start the series off, just so we know exactly what we're up for. Immediately though, there's a very nice British feel to it. So field number four, which has a road going through it, so it's actually split into two, is ours. We own both of these. And I like the, the backdrop there as well. Instead of just like a, a, a massive mountain or just a sheer edge to the, the map, it's a nice English looking countryside. Nice texture over there. So going this way, we're going to Lady Bank Farm and also Churchfields Farm. So there's quite a lot of farms on this map. This must be the first farm. Yep, it even tells you on the gate. Strictly no entry, Court Farms Limited. Oh, so we, it's all owned by us then. As it did say at the beginning. This looks like it's for our livestock. Which we don't own yet, as they're all sold off. So this is where we can put our root crops to feed them, some grain and also our water. We've also got a nice slurry pit over here. Don't know if you can climb it. Don't think you can. So definitely a livestock farm. And some silage pits as well. I'm sure we're putting them to good use. And there's a farmhouse. I don't think we can don't think we can drive it. This pickup. No. Just F show. So we'll leave here and go on to the next farm. Very nice of that. I'm not sure exactly which part of the UK this map is supposed to be set. I suppose it could be anywhere. But this map, if you're wondering, which I'm sure you are, is currently not out, but it will be coming out fairly soon, I believe. This is Churchfields Farm, grain store, cereals, oil seed, and vegetables. So definitely not a livestock farm. Got another weighing scale there, a, a tipping pit there, and also looks like this is probably where you load up your trailers and stuff. Obviously I can't say for sure because I've not been here before, but that is where you get the seed as well and also some water. Uh, what's through here? Nice little copse as well, just above the farm. Lots of added detail. Okay, so this time we're going to head south down the road. We're going to go past field number one, two and six. We own number two towards Randall's Dairy. So this is for number one on the right, which I'm sure we'll be able to own at a later date. Also, I must just say here, because this map is still in testing, you may see a few things which aren't 100% right. Um, so these will be rectified. Uh, this is actually a beta version of the map. So if you do see any glitches or anything, I'm sure they'll be sorted out before the release. So here on the left, we have got Court Farm again. However, it looks like some chickens down here. Another thing which is nice about these gates is you can open both of them, or you can just open the one. It's up to you. And also we've got some trees, so we might be able to do some forestry. But I'm not very good at forestry. So in here we've got a wood chip storage point, and lots of trees. And the chickens are... I think they just left to roam around here. Oh, I need to stick on the track. Yeah, they're just roaming around, there's a cockerel here, and also a feeder. Not seen one of these feeders before in Farming Simulator. But again, you would see that in the UK, so that is nice and realistic. Uh, but the tracks around here, I think, just lead back to the main yard, so we're not going to continue on these tracks. Or we'll just end up where we started. So we're going to continue back around to the dairy.
good that the wood chips are close to the forest so you can actually get them there fairly quickly if it's raining uh, and down there just to another field so it's it feels like it's been set out so every part of the map is a different compartment if you like so everything's separate which I quite like so I've just shut the one gate there shut the other one as well and we'll turn the left out of here got a house there towards Randall's Dairy Definitely got a livestock here with the cattle grid. Fairly obvious anyway, as it is called a dairy, but there is another field. And here is the farm. Yeah, I like the look of this one. So here we are, the dairy. And another farmhouse. Again though, there won't be any animals here because we don't own any. So we'll have to gradually build up our amount of animals. Dangerous slurry pit with barbed wire. All very realistic, I do like this. And a massive manure heap, I bet that smells a bit. I suppose it depends on how old it is. Uh, and yet here are the, the sheds where the actual animals live if we had any, and this is the feeding trough as usual. We've got the diesel tanker, possibly another silage pit I think, and some sheds. Yep, so again just a dairy. We'll definitely have to get some cows, make the use of this place. I don't think there's any sheep here though, it is just cows. So yeah, I like that one. Good looking farm that, I want some seed as well. So back into our tractor. The concrete pad here is good as well. Because it can get really boggy in the winter. So we'll continue our journey around to the right don't really need to shut the gate for the cows escaping more for security so let's continue what's down here then so this goes down to well all the way down 15 field 15 a really long field uh, field 7 11 and 16 on the right stay on the road can't really see I should probably stop actually uh, towards WM Evans grain store and also fattening chickens. I like the sound of that. That sounds new. Long straight road here. There's definitely a lot of shrubs and trees. There is the entrance to some more fields which we don't own and another entrance to Randall's Dairy which must well it must just belong to them they probably own this part of the farm continuing on got some houses and a horse there is a horse ah and here's the road as well with some traffic on no map is complete without traffic. So going around this way should end up at the grain store. Past yet again more fields and field 20 which we do own which is a field of maize by the look of it can't quite tell 
So this is our grain store and sell point. With the Weybridge, you can also get your fertilizer, seed, and diesel here. And this must be where you come and sell your grain. The clue is in the name. Yeah, I don't think something around here, it's just silos for storing it all. So at least I know where to sell it all. I uh, just wonder if there's anywhere for sugar beet and potatoes. There may well be. We've done the western side of the map, we now need to do the eastern side of the map. So we're going to continue. Lots to see. We will turn left out of here, back the way we came. And coming up on our right is the chickens, fattening chickens. Interested to see this. They must be through here. Even got the farm biosecurity sign up for visitors. And disinfection point, wow. Let's not take the tractor in then. It's been going around all the mucky roads. So this is our fattening chicken point. This looks interesting. Looking forward to doing this. Not quite sure how it works yet. But this is going to be interesting. And again, this is where you bring all your feed to. Can't wait to do this. Not a lot to see yet though, because we obviously don't have any chickens, but we will do. We'll do that very soon. And I think down there, I don't think there's much, there may be. Oh, there is, the BGA. We'll continue down there then, instead of going on the road. Oh, we've left a gate open. There's also like a ditch as well, with a bit of water in. Some more trees which we can cut down. So down here then, is the BGA, this must be where you do your silaging, where you sell your silage. A very popular place to be, as it turns out. And we've even got a company name there. Nothing like adding realism. Yep, so as we expected all the silage pits and the anaerobic digesters to create all the energy in and this is where you make all your money everywhere seems to be fairly closed today though must be a Sunday so we've got a fairly busy place coming up we've got a garden center I think this is the, the main town here Got a nice British sign as well. Road sign. They are open today, so maybe it's not a Sunday. And yeah, this is where you buy your tree saplings and stuff from. Bottle bank. If you're collecting bottles. We didn't buy anything, but we just had a nice drive through. And speed bump. This is looking good.
We probably could work out where this is if we read the road signs properly, unless it is a virtual place. And there is the dealer. And you're buying machinery. Also there, there was a chicken's egg sale point as well. So continuing our journey over the river, we're now heading to the northeast. Got some tourist attractions as well. Ah, oh, now coming up we've got the timber yard and the dairy. Must be another dairy. Yes it is. Oh, and an intercity. We'll have to look at that another time. Uh, so yeah, we've got the timber yard. Which is obviously where you bring your wood to. This is a very nice place. Very picturesque. where you can bring your logs to when you've cut them down make some extra money and yeah across the road we've got the dairy gotta be careful on this bridge as you're breaking through in places it's just been patched up oh we don't want to be driving on there right so let's leave automatic barrier that makes it easy Looks like the dairy is fairly shut up for the day. Hmm. Don't know if we can even get in here. Oh, we can. It's a sliding gate. So this is a dairy. Looks like where you bring your milk to, to sell it. And the trains go so close to here. Must be noisy. Directly above. Okay, I've just turned around. That's the dairy again on the left. That was the side of the map. Um, I'm getting to the end of the video. But there is a few more things to see. So I need to probably go back up the other way although you, you can go up here to the final place we're going to look at there's the castle or castle ruin here we go we've got court farms many many court farm gates around we'll leave this gate open I think we'll be coming through here again Another rickety old bridge, wow. You could not do that with a combine. And up here, we have got just the sheep, I think, and the diesel. And I think we have pretty much gone around the entire map. We'll obviously look at everything in a lot more detail in the coming videos. This is going to be the new Let's Play series. Um, and yeah, I don't know the exact release date of the map, but I do know it's coming soon. It's in the final testing stages, so it shouldn't be too long. Um, you can keep up to date with it on FSUK if you find the Court Farms thread. But like I say, it is in beta still, so if there are any issues that you see, I'm sure they'll be rectified. This is not the final product. So yep, yeah, this is just where you have your sheep. I would imagine they roam around here and your diesel tank is somewhere back there yeah I think that's it there and that is it I think so thanks for watching everyone hopefully you've enjoyed this video and I also hope you enjoy the map as well um, another fantastic one from Butty from the um, Mappers Paradise map group modding group uh, fantastic map I'm very pleased that he sent it to me been looking forward to doing another map from Maps Paradise and this is definitely another good one. Really good. Uh, can't wait to get into it further and it's going to be challenging. 
But thanks for watching everyone. We'll start this series probably next week. But until next time, thanks for watching and bye for now.